Hello everybody, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature. I am Chargin Ryuki, and boy, that is messed up. That is so messed up. In the last episode, we lost Sayori. Because of her! But then, even if we made the opposite choice, and said that she's one of our, or one of my one and true only friends, even if, even if then, would we still be able to stop her from what happened? I, I don't know. Pretty sure if anyone watched this would obviously tell me that in the comments. So let's get this started for this episode here. Pretty much starts over pretty much exactly the way it was. Um, it's an ordinary day, an you know, ordinary school day <laughs> like any other. I mess up right off the bat, good grief. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just by getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is not or as, as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an, an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't, there really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the, with the anime club. Char Jr.? What? What? Um... Hi, Monica. Oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah. Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the class, same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. I forgot to put creepy, but okay. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely, so genuinely, blah, genuinely, just say genuine, the L-Y screws me up, feels a little off. What did you come in here for? Anyway, oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Um. Okay. Literature? That sounds kind of, uh, dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of this, three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, 
poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, that's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Char Jr. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at, le at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Well, I guess I have no other no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could. Check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Char Jr. You know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Um, okay. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, but generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Eh? Uh, what the hell was that? A, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Char Jr. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of an incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yori, the Vice President. It, it's nice to meet you. Yori, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet the both of you. So I ran into Charge Junior in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone here? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Char Jr.? The, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yori walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised. There aren't many, aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You put, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival mu that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well... I guess... Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yori returns to the table carrying a tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a cup, a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> don't let yourself, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yodi's just trying to impress you. That's, that's not... Insulted, insulted, Yodi looks away. I meant that, you know... I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yodi faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Charginer, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, ah, considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds herself, finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take so can so deliberately take advantage of your own your own lack of imagination and to completely throw you for a loop anyway i've been reading a lot of horror lately ah i read ho i read a horror book once i desperately grasp something i can relate to at the minimal level at this rate you already might as well be having a conversation with the rock <laughs> I'd, I'd expect that from you, Yori. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very f successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Like, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the glass club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers and exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have a writing experience too, right? Too, Yori? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yori. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey! I just got an idea. How about this? Uh, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. 
Let's all go home and write a poem of her own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... I... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of my vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture, nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Church Jr.? Hold on. There's still one problem. It, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made uh, any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. She looks, just like before, Natsuki always looks at you, when she looks at you like that, she looks at you like she's going to slap you in the face. Literally, slap you in face. She looks definitely sad, but that knowing Monica, she'll probably do something to change that. And then, Yuri just stares at you blankly, in all actuality, she just blankly looks at you. It's like, are you serious? You're not, you're not, you're not serious, are you? But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm. It, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Char Jr. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend time every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Char Jr.? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Char Jr., I'm so happy. We could be an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over to me once more. Char Jr., I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> you, you're good, you. Uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yodi cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. 
With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good, good fortune will find me. Nope. Nope, I don't think so. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Um, sure. What, um... Hi. How's it going? Uh. Um, hmm. Daydream. Uh Hmm Seriously, why? <laughs> uh. If anyone's noticed, I'm actually trying to balance balance this the best I can. Kitty. Um dude. Gotta choose anime. Or Destiny. What? That's Sayori. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna continue this in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.